Welcome back to the Easy Tech Tutorial, your go-to place for learning the coolest tech tricks without the headaches. So today I'm showing you five awesome features on your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra that will make your phone feel smarter, faster, and just plain cooler. So we'll cover everything from building your own custom navigation bar to creating your own emojis. So let's dive right into it. And don't forget to hit that like button, share this with your friends, and subscribe so you never miss out the latest tip. So the first feature is your custom navigation bar. So as you can see right now, I have a custom navigation bar. So this is what it would look like before. And when I turn on my custom navigation bar, this is what it turns into. So you guys can do this as well. So this feature lets you completely redesign your phone's navigation button. You can swap the icons and even add shortcuts for your favorite apps or tools. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll first go ahead and open up Google. And here we'll go ahead and search for the following items. So here we can go ahead and search for home, back, and the recent. So let's just say for example, we'll go and search for home icon. So here we'll go ahead and use this icon here for a home button. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and turn on AI select, go ahead and create a circle around it. Now we'll go ahead and select that image so that it basically deselects from the background and then we'll go ahead and download it. Now, once that's done, you can press home. Now we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Navstar module, switch this feature on, tap on new configuration, and here we'll go ahead and configure these buttons. So the recent, home, back, and the close keyboard. Since I've only downloaded it for the home, we'll go ahead and tweak that. So we'll go and tap on home, then tap on gallery, and we'll tap on gallery again, and we'll go ahead and find that home button, which we downloaded. So as you can see, that button has now been replaced. Press save, and now go and scroll down and find that button, which we created. So now that new navigation bar has been set for you. Bring it closer for you guys to see. You can see that new home button has been replaced to a custom image. So like this, you can do this for your recent and back and customize the navigation bar. So no more fumbling with awkward button layouts. Everything will be exactly where you want it. It's basically boosting your speed and comfort and it's perfect for both one-handed use and multitasking pros. Okay, the second feature is where you can set wallpapers with AI Select. So with AI Select, you can pick any part of an image and instantly generate a wallpaper that matches your style. So whether you want a scenic background or a minimalistic vibe or a custom art piece, you can basically do it on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here on my Samsung S25 Ultra, I like to change my background a lot on my phone. So here I can go ahead and open up Google Chrome, navigate to pixel.com. And here I can go ahead and browse through all of these images, which are available free of charge from pixel.com. So if I like any, so for example, this one here, I can go ahead and tap on this. I can go ahead and tap on free download, go ahead and open it. And now using AI select, I can go ahead and tap on AI select. This will now select that image for me, tap on three dots, and then I can go ahead and tap on set as wallpaper. And as you can see, I have set a wallpaper using AI Select. So another way of setting wallpapers with AI Select is using TikTok. So here I can go ahead and search for any kind of videos I want. Just say, for example, this one here, I can go ahead and long press on this. I can give it a clear mode so I can remove all the overlay. Now I can go ahead and choose the part where I want the wallpaper. So say for example, this one here, go ahead and turn on AI Select. This will now select the image for me. Then I can go to tap on three dots and then tap on set as wallpaper. Now I can go and press next and then I can tap on done. And now my wallpaper has been set. So you'll get a wallpaper that feels uniquely yours in seconds without having to scroll through hundreds of stock images or spend hours editing. Now the third feature is where you can remove object with AI select. So if you accidentally photobombed a photo, AI Select can intelligently remove unwanted people, objects, or distraction from your photo, and basically seamlessly fill in the background. So here I have an image of a red building, and there are some windows here. So let's just say, for example, I want to remove the middle windows here. 
So I can use Galaxy AI, go ahead and tap on this icon here. Now I can go ahead and select those windows. So as you can see, it selected these, the middle row of windows. Now I can tap on erase. Now I can tap on generate. And as you can see, it has removed the middle row of the windows. I can press save. And now this is before and this is after. So it's like having Photoshop in your pocket. It's cleaner, more professional looking pictures without editing skills or any expensive software. So as you can see, I've done this literally in 10 seconds and I've removed a row of window from the photo itself. So now feature number four is where you can copy and paste objects from one image to another. So if you have a subject in one photo, you can basically copy it and paste it into another to create a completely different image. So let me show you how to do this. So here I've got two images, one of an image of an elephant here, and one here of an image of a nice garden. So let's just say, for example, I want to take this elephant and place it in this garden. So in order to do this, I'll go ahead and open that image. Now I'll go ahead and long press on that subject, so the elephant. So as you can see, it has now separated the elephant from the background. Now using my second finger, I'll go ahead and open that second image, place it here. Now I can go ahead and increase the size and I can go ahead and place it anywhere I like. So let's just say, for example, here. So now once I'm happy with the placement, I can go and press save. And now I have the elephant, which was here and I've placed it here. So this is perfect for creating memes, fun collages, or even marketing visuals on the go. You can combine elements from multiple images without spending hours on a computer. Now feature number five is where you can create custom emojis on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So if you like to create custom emojis, you can basically design emojis that look just like you or anything you can imagine. So you can basically use a Samsung S25 Ultra customization tool to create them. So let me show you how to do this. Now here we'll go ahead and tap on text messages and then we'll go ahead and tap on emoji. Now we'll go ahead and use this blue Galaxy AI tool. And now here we'll go ahead and create emojis. So here you can basically describe an image to create it. So let's go ahead and tap on 3D emoji as well since we're creating emojis. Now we'll go ahead and describe something for it to create. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. So we'll tap and generate. And there you go. So we have Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. So this is a emoji, custom emoji, which I've just created. I go and tap on done, and I can go ahead and send this off to the person who I'm sending it to. So your message and social media posts become instantly more personalized and fun, and you stand out in the chats and express yourself like never before. And that's it, five Galaxy S25 Ultra features that can make your daily phone use so much easier and a lot more fun. Which one will you try first? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit that like button, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to the Easy Tech Tutorial for more simple and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.